in the last video i have stopped the server because uh, i have to run the migration command in this video i am going to restart the server php artisan server so our server is running again so let's refresh the page okay so let's try to submit the data and let's see what happens if i try to submit the data now so the name is iphone the brand is apple the price is thousand let's click on the save it says store page so let's see why the store page is the response so we will come to the uh, re, uh, routes we will see the there is a routes in line number 12 we are sending post request to the slash create it is calling the store method of product controller class so we basically need to go to the product controller class and we need to make some changes to our store method because this method is being called whenever we are submitting the data so we will write all the logics in this method and it will store the data in our database so how we will get the data which is being sent by the user from the phone so for that we will uh, uh, we always have a request so whenever you send a request to the any url there is a request object attached to it so we will come to the store and we will add this request and this request so every time any request is coming to any server there is a request attached to it so let's return all the things which is stored in the request so basically this will return all the things which is stored in our request body and this is a request which is coming so let's uh, ref let's try again so let's fill any random data because now we just need to test what happens if i submit the data suppose there is a iphone again and uh, eight uh, brandage again apple and price is uh, 450s let's uh, save yeah it is saying the token so now only token data is coming from the form and uh, probably we were expecting that there should be name price brand brand and uh, i got the idea why this is happening so for that we will need to come to the products and we will go to the create and yeah we will go to the create so we forgot to add the name to the input field so the back end uh, or the data which is being sent uh, to the back end uh, by their name so currently there is no name so you can see that there is only id attribute we need to add the name attribute and with the name attribute it sends the data to the back end in the in the body of request okay so now we have added the name to all the input field so now if i will try again probably i will um, get those data so let's see and yeah so now you can see that we are having a token uh, uh, name price brand if you are thinking why there is token the token is the csrf token for the uh, cross site request forgery and this is just for the security purpose so you can forget that and probably now we got the data in the backend now we need to save it so we will see that in the next video